All right, people, welcome back. More depredocom. Hello? <laughs> More depredocom. Okay, you said hello. Yeah. Depro commentary. Looks we like Alexis we have here. Blue Eyes versus. Maybe Subterra? I'm going to assume Lord of the Red. You think so? I'm thinking okay. Subterra. With prediction princesses. Texas. Nope, nope, we were both wrong. It's Harold. <laughs> And like I said, we have Alexis here. Welcome. And uh, with everybody jumping on that dick, that blue eyes dick, you already know. <laughs> it's in one world. You got to play it. Uh, you guys didn't miss much. You just played uh, Melody, Pitch the Stone, Grab This 2, Summon Alternative, uh, Summon Save. I'm not a fan of blue eyes, to be quite honest. Never really been a fan of dragon based decks. Wow, it's anything to get rid of some entities. Uh, you went Sage, search the Fag Veiler, because yeah, I gotta play so Fag Summon out the alternative, blow up the face down monster, attack for some damage, and then exceed summon to number 38. Yeah, a lot of damage, and there you go. Vanity's emptiness. <laughs> I, I started taking Vanity's emptiness out of the majority of my decks, because it's just such a boring card. It's just like I flip it up and just like, oh, you can't play Yu Gi Oh! I already got my field made, and you don't, so fuck you. Like, okay, that's, that's fair. <laughs> So, the game and flip it over these days, you know, a triple twin twister all over the place. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of knew that people were gonna hop on this blue eyes deck. We're just waiting for that ban list, see how uh, how much the damage is and whether blue eyes will be top tier, top tier. <laughs> right now, it's just kind of sitting in purgatory. It's just waiting for its chance, just sitting in the <laughs> the. Oh my god, you can go for OTK. With what? I'd say, am I missing something? If you would have, like, maybe, like, maybe tagged out Spirit for Azure Eyes and then summoned back. No, he just put that blood in there. He didn't have it previously. He just put that into his turn. Double melody of the Awakened Dragon. Alright. <laughs> yeah, he, he couldn't. Could have OTK'd by somebody uh, in the main phase. I mean, not in the main phase. In the draw phase, uh, using. Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon to go ahead and summon out the Azure, and then Standby Phase will summon out the Blue Eyes, and then he would have done his plays, and he would have had just enough damage to OTK. Does Alternative count as Blue Eyes in the Graveyard? Unless special in Blue Eyes, uh, this card's name becomes Blue Eyes on the field. Or in the Graveyard, yeah, yeah. Yep, so. If it counts as Blue Eyes in the Graveyard, yep, you can win Azure Eyes, summon back that Alternative. And uh, then went for game that way. Oh, have more alternative. An alternative. It can only summon normal monsters. Oh well, yeah. I thought it was blue eyes. Nope, it's normal monsters. So then he wouldn't have had a target in the graveyard because he pitched that blue eyes in the graveyard during his main phase with Melody, the second of Melody. So he didn't even have a blue okay. eyes. Right. In that case, never mind. He couldn't have gone for OTK. At least not with the cards that we have in public knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you just and gonna... that random effect failure. Yeah, so it's like you're just gonna throw the effect failure at Harold right now. I'm not that. It's not like he's gonna be able to do anything with the Herald. Yeah, like are you planning on doing something with that Herald that we don't know? Like, okay. So this is rated, and I believe Cyber Angels? The negation. Alright, so. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. From what we know from common knowledge, he couldn't have done it. Because that alternative couldn't attack, and even if he, what, contact for using a twin, Twin can only attack twice monsters, correct? Uh, let me quickly double check. Also, are you able to hear me? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright, stick chair combo. Catch that. Yeah, you can only special summon one alternative once per turn, so not like he had two alternatives he could reveal special summon or reveal special summon, so he couldn't have done that. I'm just trying to figure out how he could have went for a game. Like I said, I believe Twink gets double attack on monsters. If Twin is just double attack, period, then yeah, that would have been game. Because you just want to attack, attack, attack with spirit, game. And despite that, I mean, the Herald Cyberinger player is not in deep position. I mean, that stick chair combo gets you hella pluses. You got your Herald Perfection. I don't know why you did that. Like, 
Are you planning on maybe having Harold negate the spirit if he tries to pop out of the way, so that's why? Whatever it's called, that uses three level four monsters. You'd be able to blow up the, uh, the I did, I... monster and then attempt to attack over the synchro. Yeah, I did see those two into Deltaros and then use the effect of stick while Deltaros is still resolving to pop that spirit. He can't even hop out of the way because he can't activate anything in response to the normal summoner, special summon Tower monster, including Deltaros, so pop. <laughs> So, yeah. Or, or you can go nowhere else. I would have I went to Deltaros. Then you could have went Deltaros pop the uh, hope, too. No, okay. So you're just going to pop the hope now. Draw a card. I'm trying to figure out how you're going to handle this. <laughs> oh, wait. You could just, uh, attack, you could just attack the, uh, the spirit. Synchro, this spirit. Forcing it to tag out, but I don't know how he's going to deal with, this, with the uh, Azure Eyes. Yeah. I, if I remember correctly, it says you can't target any dragons, right? Yeah, you can't target them. I, th I believe you can't target or destroy any dragons by card effects till the end of their next end phase. So it'd be his next end phase. Oh, so Spirit's just gonna go ahead and hop out of the way. Oh, oh you could just oh, negate right, it yes, with the Herald. <laughs> that works, yeah. You can just negate it with Herald. Nah, I like my Deltaros idea better. After all. Uh, blue eyes. Twin burst dragon. Look at this. <laughs> Stupid you could do with a zero eyes white dragon. No, the duel's definitely turned around. But he's playing blue eyes, he's playing that top tier shit. Uh make up to two attacks on monsters during each battle phase. Yep, that's what I thought. So No, I don't see it. I don't see a way that he could win for again. He cut a different fan list compared to the TCG. We don't know if Cosmo is going to be enough of a wild card to put Blue Eyes back a level or two. Yeah. I mean, at least we could sort of know that if they deal with Monarchs and and uh, perform a Powling and Burning Abyss, similar to what they did in the OCG, that they'll at least have a chance to edge their way in, but the uh, Cosmo match. <laughs> you know that there were two Monarch players that managed the top eight of the World Championships? Yeah, yeah. I, say, I think that's a, that's an okay, appropriate level for what if, that, if that's where they want. I mean, if they want to kill, kill it harder, then more power to them. But Monarchs being about that about that powerful. Wow, did he actually get triple pre prep in this duel? He did. Wow. Two of them. I don't think he's used three of them, but I could very well be wrong. On no, that. He played one first turn, then he played one last turn, but it got negated by Hope, and then he played one this turn. Yeah, check the graveyard. The blessing is real. He very well might make this deck now because this Cyber Angel Herald deck is starting to look pretty legitimate. Yeah, it really yeah. is. Especially with uh, Ben 10, you can get into searching, getting your cards back, more fairies back to your hand. The the uh, the Machine Angel Ritual, which is protecting all light monsters from being destroyed by battle by card effect, like a wide sweeping. So they try to kill your Herald, you just nope, protect it. So this might be this might be it, possibly. Yeah. Dakana? Did you say Dakana? I think it's Dakini. Yep. Wow. <laughs> and Blue Eyes lose! <laughs> version. Alright, well, I guess I'll go ahead and uh, get to game two. Well, after they're done siding. Be right back. We'll trade in and uh, Melody of Awakening com uh, Dragons, which I assume we probably drew off the trade in because. If you have a Melody of Awakening Dragons and trade in your opening hand, you're always going to activate Melody first. So, boy, it's that fast aggressiveness. So we already seeing it. Multiple dragons to trade in, Melody of Awakening Dragons, the stones, just everything. You know, this is, we saw this from, uh, Shinsuke. <laughs> and others, and others, but, I mean, he's a two-time world champion. Almost three times. He's got uh, Dragon Spirit of White, which he could t tag out for a Blue Eyes to dodge a targeting effect, although I don't think that's going to be relevant in this particular case. Mm -hmm. This is the problem, that Blue Eyes is so aggressive that there's not too much that will possibly stop him, stop his opponent on their turn, you know? Like, last time he had the Vanities and he had the Effect Veil. I'm not sure if he has the Effect Veil now, but clearly there's no Vanities. I mean, you're just going to throw a Maxi at him now? Okay. Well, I know a cool little uh, thing you can do with Ritual of Sanctuary. What?
No, I, I believe the card came out. Uh, it was in that, uh, that, uh, Dragons, updated Dragons of Legends, wasn't it? Yeah. And that's when, that's when Saber Angels came in. They came in that, uh, was it Dragons of Legends Sanctuary, something? Which can potentially get you a Super Mangus with just one card. Oh, that's risky. That's, that's the thing with Blue Eyes, it can hella bait you. It's like, yeah, you can go ahead and make me take the neg, but I'm still gonna have these big old 3,000 beaters who can, you know, come after you, so... <laughs> so it's kind of difficult to take it slow against a deck that can just drop beaters on your ass with ease. Duel right here, right now. Mm-hmm. Switchable effect veiler and the maxis. I, said, I believe it's a hobby ran. Two effect veiler, two maxis. God, this man just constantly gets a freaking melody, like, <laughs> every turn. <laughs> it's so I think broken. this duel is over, because he's going to go alternative, blow up the, the said monster, and then probably swing for game, because he'll have 3,000, 3, uh, 3,000, 2,500, 3,000, oh wait, he'll be short 500. No. <laughs> oh, wait, <laughs> like, two things. That math was correct, it would be game, because that would be 6,085, so that would be game, but Alternative can't attack the turn that it uses its Right of White Dragon if he blows up the said monster. Yeah, but that monster can't attack, so... So he's gonna blow up the set monster, now is he gonna do something? Oh wait, no, he could tie off for that Blue Eyes. Or, or you could do it now. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Like, no, 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 you should have... Blow up, attack, okay, never mind, I guess you're not done, but I would've went, uh, blow up, attack, attack, tag out, summon, attack, game. Like, or this, or this, that works too. That's still game. <laughs> That's still game. See, you didn't take the maxi challenge and you got ripped. <laughs> oh, I guess we're going to game three. That was quick. That's blue eyes for you. <laughs> Leave. Shinsuke beat the, I think it was like, I forgot his name, the American player. No one remembers the person who gets second place, but kicked his butt in a match, like, in, like, a couple of minutes, like, 15 minutes, because, just, he opened up terrible. Oh. Yeah, it's always sad when the final match of the tournament is just a brick fest versus a god hand. Yep. <laughs> Alright, well, so game three. I'm assuming that maybe the... Uh, Cyber drill person will go first this time, maybe set up the Herald and stuff, so they're gonna decide and we're gonna be right back. Alright, we're back. So once again, open up with that pre prep and immediately drops the max C. Like Wow. <laughs> if anything, maybe maybe even out when like, he might just drop the Herald on them and end. <laughs> like, drop, just Why dropping is he dropping them. these max C's so carelessly anyway. He really is. He's just dropping them. Like, do you at least want to, like, make sure that you get guaranteed even out? Like, you could chain to the activation of the ritual spell. Like, why are you just dropping it immediately? Are you just trying to deter them from playing, period? Well, maybe he's maybe he's one of those low-rated duelists that migrated here from DN and doesn't know what he's doing. Ooh, burn. <laughs> I don't know. So, so far, all you've done is even out. You've got the equivalent of, of, of the upstart goblin, so... I mean, it's not terrible, because you traded in your max seed, which might be dead, for a card that's actually useful. Damn, and now you're going to get max seed. Which, <laughs> I, I don't know, that, that's, eh, eh. See, the problem with that is that, is that he may not do anything, you'll take neg, but then alternative is an inherent special summon, so you wouldn't be able to chain to that. So, by doing this, if, if he summons alternative, that is at least a guaranteed draw. And alternative is an easy way to handle Harold. Easy way. Just... Reveal, special summon, Harold can't negate that, attack over. We saw that in the first duel, so... <laughs> Can I do something real quick? Unless we're gonna see, like, Super Harold. The ultimate-ness, this perfect perfection. What's his stats? I think it's like 2,000, 3,000? Oh, you haven't missed much. <laughs> or just having the blue-eyes guy sit here, I mean, he's, he's kind of in a conundrum. He could probably overextend and bust out the plays, but then he would allow his opponent to draw and get resources, or he could take it slow and not do anything and still get wrecked, so... 
Alright. I guess the play would be to just summon out a blue eyes and run over the herald if he has the alternative in hand. If he doesn't have alternative in hand, I just wouldn't do a whole lot right now if I was him. I don't know. Looks like he's going in. He's going to go ahead and summon White Stone. He's going to go ahead and use Sage with Eyes of Blue to target and get rid of it. But no, he just pitched and negate that. So now you're stuck there with your Ancient Stone. The thing is, is that I guess he really didn't want him to special summon that Blue Eyes. Because, I mean, of course that Blue Eyes can handle it. You got another Fairy? If you got another Fairy, oh my god, take that Neg, boy. Take that Neg. Oh, let's say, yeah, he searched the chair. Like, take that Neg. Wow, and you're actually going to go into Battle Phase, crash, and then try to summon during the End Phase? I mean, I guess that wouldn't be terrible. It depends on what the Herald guy has, but if he's going to draw into something. The Herald has one more uh, negation in hand, then the Blue Eyes player just loses from here. Alright, someone with Blue Eyes and draw. And that's it? Alright. So. It's not looking so hot for Blue Eyes. Are able to play. out the Blue Eyes White Dragon or not? Yeah, that's the thing. Are you going to be able to do it? I mean, that's a way. <laughs> like I said, if you able to a... out the blue eyes white dragon went very, very easily. If the current meta falls, could we possibly be seeing this be meta? Yo, yo. Cyber angels with uh, with Harold. Otherwise, it's gonna be at the very least somewhere in the top like five decks of the format. Mm -hmm. it's hard to say exactly where it's gonna be with Cosmo still being a card that they have to deal with. Yeah, like. I think Cosmos. I don't know. It depends. I, I I think Cosmos can be blue eyes. I think I think Cosmos can be blue eyes. Unless they go Chaos Max, but even if you go Chaos Max, they still have Cosmodro. So I was actually surprised that no one blue went Chaos Max. Ma that well, not mirror matches, but matches on DN before it went down. You know, the TCG blue eyes, and mm -hmm. even without the new support, they were able to go about fifty fifty with Cosmos. So that should mm -hmm. tell you how strong blue eyes can potentially be. Just wondering what they're gonna do to Cosmos, if anything. Are they just gonna lower the consistency? If they're just gonna lower the consistency, then alright then. Then that, that would hurt, you know. Take away their tin can, take away, you know, their Cosmotown. Really, their their Cosmos. They can handle Blue Eyes can handle Cosmotown, especially with uh, Spirit. Like, just summon and banish the Cosmotown. The deck did, after all, originally function without tin can very, very nicely with Dark Destroyer and Cosmotown. <laughs> I think if you really want to hit, they're going to have to hit Cosmo Town or Dark Destroyer or both of them. The deck fun functioned without Tin Can, but the deck is definitely different with Tin Can. They weren't as aggressive with the Revival cards because with Tin Can, whether you get to add the Dark Destroyer to your hand or send it to the graveyard through Tin Can Effect, you still get to get Dark Destroyer in the duel, relative to not in your deck, therefore making the call to hunt and Oasis or just tagging out the way live. You got another fairy? Ah, I still think this card is stupid. I guess we'll have to see what Konami decides to do whenever they decide to do the ban list. I'm not exactly yeah. sure when it's going to be, but I'm sure it will be sometime within the next two weeks at best. I mean, that'd be great. I'm planning on going to a, uh, a regionals. Wow. Wow, I'll just pitch all of them. <laughs> pitch everything. That's everything that they got. And you still got two cards in your hand, Mr. Blue Eyes player. Can you bust out something? Or is that it? If he took you down? You have like a Silver's Cry? Nope, GG. Wow. <laughs> and that's one way to beat Blue Eyes. But yeah, I'm going to a Regionals on September 11th, which I guess, you know, remembering that day as an American, let me go to a Yu Gi Oh tournament. <laughs> Yeah, it's been 15 years. So, happened. hopefully we get the list before then. Yeah, and uh, I'll probably take Cosmos. No. And whether they get hit on the list or there is no updated list, I'll, I can I can work with the deck. <laughs> so, even if I only get one Darker Story, I can probably figure something out. <laughs> I'm not sure how I would function with one Dark Destroyer. It'd be yeah. really painful. Yeah, it wouldn't be as great, but I'll try something. <laughs> I really need to see that list. <laughs> Hopefully they don't leave me hanging. They what, said, do you got, what do you think about, uh, what's it called? About Shadal Trains. I think they're okay. Yeah, Shadal Trains aren't terrible. Yeah, I could see something with that. I think 
could, I'm thinking that they could potentially be like maybe the rogue deck of the format, just because if we, if, if this is assuming that Monarchs and uh, PK Fire both get hit, the format might shift into a deck, into a format where there's a lot of extra deck plays, which means the Shadal engine will become really good. The rank 10 monsters have really powerful burn and damaging effects, and all the monsters are really, really big. I you just see them being a really good rogue matchup against Blue Eyes White Dragon. Yeah, yeah, it seems like Blue Eyes would have a tough time against that deck with Dora and Shikinaga. Like, those are both just cards that Blue Eyes would have a tough time handling. So yeah, I could I could potentially see that. Being on a train deck, and it's about fifty fifty. My main issue is that I'm not able to really keep up with Blue Eyes' speed. I can just slow them down or make monsters that are bigger with them what they can handle. Mm-hmm. Alright then, well, we're done here. <laughs> so, there you go. If you, I guess if you want to try to compete against Blue Eyes, then go with the Cyber Angels. They're out in the TCG. Uh, they're in Dragons of Legends... something. The newest one. Dragons of Legends, I think, is the name of the booster set or something. I thought it was another word. It's like Dragons of Legends something. Unleashed or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. Is it the is it the collector's pack? I believe it's the collector's pack. It's a set I think it just came out like last Friday, I wanna say. And it had like the reprints to like Ayatomias and stuff like that. Like uh, I don't remember. It's good because it co it would cost you like I think it was like 80 bucks for a place that if I have Tamias. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Dragons of Legend Unleashed has the uh, Cyber Angel shit. So there you go. You can go ahead and pick it up and make Cyber Angels and see, let's see how they do in the TCG. Yeah. Alright, so we're done. So thank you, Alexis, for joining me. Anytime. Hopefully I wasn't too annoying with my, uh, with having to use the headset and mic combo. Thanks for watching. There's just a point. The support link to her channel is in the description below, so go ahead, click it, subscribe to her if you haven't already, and I will see you guys on Thursday with some more Death Portal commentary. Alright people, thanks for watching.